Good morning student. Today our topic of discussion is interior of the earth. So here we write interior of the earth. The earth radius is 6370 km and no one can reach the center of the earth and observe the layers of the earth and different materials that exist at such depth. Now student you may wonder that scientists tell us about the earth interiors and the material that exists at such depth. Now the question is how? How can it possible? Actually scientists throw seismic waves. The seismic waves actually generated from earthquake. So scientists throw seismic waves or the direction of seismic waves or the nature of the seismic waves so through this uh, uh, through this process they are able to understand the earth's interior and the material that exists at such depth so it is very easy to say that that seismic wave is the main uh, we can say main uh, things by which scientists are able to understand the earth's interior and the material that exists. So first of all we discuss about the seismic waves that are generated from earthquake. So here we write earth quick wave are mainly two types. First one is body waves. Second one is surface wave. Now in body wave, we found P and S waves and surface wave we found L waves. Now P wave is called as primary wave and this wave travels through solid, liquid and gaseous material. But student one thing always remember that S wave only travel through solid material. Now the characteristics of L wave that is long wave. The characteristic of L wave is that this wave is a most destructive wave. So these are the three uh, seismic waves through which scientists are able to understand the earth's interior and the material that exists at such depth. Now we talk about the different layers of the earth or we can say structure of the earth or interior of the earth. So here we write interior of the earth can be divided into three way first 
first one is crust second one is mantle and third one is core so these are the three layers of the earth or we can say structure of the earth first we talk about crust where we live crust actually is the solid uppermost part of the earth and made up of heavy materials and the density of the crust is of 3 gram per cubic centimeter so here we write 0 to 100 we uh, uh, called it this extent from 0 to 100 is crust so here we write crust this one is that is first layer is known as crust then beyond crust we found mantle from or we can say up to 2000 and 900 kilometer this mantle so here we write mantle this mantle layer actually started from muhu discontinuity now what do you mean by muhu discontinuity Moho discontinuity actually the boundary of the earth crust and the mantle earth crust and the mantle this is the boundary so we can simply say that mantle actually started from Moho discontinuity to the depth of 2900 kilometer so now what do you mean by Moho discontinuity First of all, uh, we know about that uh, it is the boundary between the crust and mantle. But it was first discovered or identified by a scientist known as Muhorovicic. So after that, this boundary uh, known as Moho discontinuity. So second layer is known as mantle then last layer we known as core which was uh, extend up to 6378 kilometer so here we write core which is made of nickel or iron that means heavy materials and it is also extended from Gutenberg discontinuity now Gutenberg what do you mean by Gutenberg discontinuity Gutenberg discontinuity is the boundary between the mantle and core and it was first identified or discovered by a scientist known as Richard Gutenberg yes Richard Gutenberg so after that this boundary is known as Gutenberg discontinuity so simply it is uh, it is actually the boundary between the mantle and core so finally we can say that earth's interior uh, have been divided into three way that is crust mantle and core crust is the uppermost solid layer of the earth where we live and density of the crust is 3 gram per cubic centimeter which was extend up to approximately 100 kilometer from 0 to 100 now we talk about uh, second layer that is mantle which was started from moho discontinuity 
Moho discontinuity. What do you mean by Moho discontinuity? Actually, Moho discontinuity is the boundary between the crust and mantle. So, mantle is started from Moho discontinuity to the depth of 2900 kilometer. Then we found third layer known as core, which was started from uh, Gutenberg discontinuity. What you uh, what do you mean by Gutenberg discontinuity? It 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 is actually the boundary between the mantle and core, and uh, extend up to 6378 kilometer. And core is obviously made up of heavy mat uh, heavy materials known as nickel and iron. So these are the three layers that we found in our earth, crust, mantle and core. Thank you.